The overall goal of this protocol is to measure carbon dioxide produced by intact fruit flies fed radio-labeled substrates such as palmitic acid or glucose. This method can help answer key questions for Drosophila researchers, such as whether a given mutation may affect energy metabolism. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows quantitative, sensitive, and reproducible measurements of fuel oxidation in small numbers of fruit flies. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the fly pod assembly steps require quick manipulation of small parts to ensure proper construction of the experimental apparatus before flies recover from anesthesia. Carbon-14 is a low-energy beta emitter and has a short range in air, but care must still be taken to prevent spilling of radio-labeled molecules or accidental ingestion by the experimenter. Mix 1 to 2 microcurie radio-labeled substrate with 15 microliters of FDNC number 1 blue food dye and water to obtain a total volume of 25 microliters. Pipette all of the radio-labeled substrate and blue dye mix into the bottom of an empty fly food vial. Since fly food vials tip over easily, be sure to house them in a container that will prevent them from tipping. Heat standard fly food in a microwave oven until the food is just liquefied. 15 to 20 seconds at a high power level is usually sufficient for one vial containing 10 milliliters of food. Add 975 microliters of the molten food to the radio-labeled substrate and blue dye mix and quickly swirl while monitoring the uniformity of the blue color to ensure complete mixing. Pipette